Hello and welcome to One Cool Thing, PC Mag's daily show where we show you one cool thing which we are testing out here in the PC Mag Labs. I am Sasha Sieg and this is Michael Muchmore. This is Cyberlink Power Director 17, a piece of video editing software that we are going to show off now and talk to you about. And the first thing I want to start with here is Power Director 17. These video editing programs have been around a long time. I mean, one of its competitors, Pinnacle, is at version 22. Whoa! So these guys have been around a long time, um, and they just manage to add new things every year. Okay. Uh, yeah. So now, I, I feel like a lot of people out there, uh, when they start editing video, they're editing it with like the default video editing software that comes with their operating system. Right, right. And iMovie, which is uh, yeah, fine. I very mean. often iMovie. Does does Windows does Windows come with video okay, editing software? Okay, Windows has an interesting story with that. For a little while, they had nothing, but oddly now, if you go into the Photos app in Windows, there's pretty substantial um, video editing. You can join clips. You can add transitions. You can mm -hmm. add effects and all this stuff. Um, voiceover soundtracks. Um, yeah, it's surprising, but it's in the Photos app, mm -hmm. and and weirdly, um, or, or in the latest revs of Windows, um, there's actually an uh, a start button for, it's called video editing, but mm -hmm. that takes you to the video editing panel of the Photos app. Okay. It's not a separate app, but it's there. It's okay, so now is this the next step up? Oh, this is a couple of steps. This is a up. couple of steps up. Pa Power Director really does have. It has tons of things. Um, it has. Multi-track, you can have up to 100 simultaneous tracks. You can do sound, all kinds of effects. You can do picture and pic picture. You can do multicam, which mm -hmm. is like what you're seeing here when it switches between me and Sasha and the, and the screen. Mm -hmm. um, um, yeah, it's just, these are huge beasts to program. 360 degree um, editing. Uh, but as you can see here, I don't know if you're showing the screen. Um, when you start up, you get these three choices and depending on. And one of them is bad. Yeah, uh, so you get two good choices and one bad choice that should never yeah, be Yeah, they've on. sort of caved into yeah. people filming things in portrait mode on their cell phones. Yeah, that's not acceptable, it's and in fact, the op I, I really hope the computer crashes <laughs> if you select that yeah. radio button. But, okay, that's the size selection, but then we have these three. Timeline mode is your traditional, you know, multi-track timelines where with all the power. Storyboard mm -hmm. is more simplified. Slide slideshow creator, obviously, is very simple. Mm -hmm. And then we've got this 360 editor for the new kind of... And, and auto mode, which is, you really wanted a little control. None, nothing can do it automatically. So we're going to go into the timeline, which is the real editor. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you a few what's new for version 17. Yeah, I was going to say, so and, what's 17 about this? Um, well, one thing that they added, so let's open one of my projects. They added what they call pre-cut, which is basically something that every pro video editor expects. See, formerly on PowerDirector, you could only cut and trim clips once you brought them down into the timeline. Mm -hmm. But most video editors, ha video editors have um, you know, long clips up in their source panel and they want to trim it before they bring it down into the timeline. Timeline. But now PowerDirector lets you do that. And now did, did, does, do PowerDirector's competitors also let you do that? Um, it varies. Um, most, uh, like Pinnacle does. Um, I'm trying to think, Corel. Uh, I'm not sure, but anything pro level, like Premiere Pro, mm -hmm. um, Final Cut Pro, those all you would trim before. Oh. So That's a familiar scene. Right. Um, so let me show you, or we can show you the pre-cut here. It's, yeah. it's not too exciting. Um, let's get a sort of normal looking clip. And so I would, uh, let's see this pre-cut choice. Um, one nice thing that I like about, about um, Power Director here is, and see how here I'm in the source and I'm trimming the, the video so I mm -hmm. can play it here and then mark the in point, then play it again, mark the out point. This is actually a build. Um, but they have this multi trim version, which gets a little confusing looking, but it does a great thing letting you select. More subclips. So you can make multiple subclips right. with and multiple then, endpoints. Yeah, so points. you can cut the bad stuff out in the middle and then bring it down into the. Um, As opposed to having line. to duplicate your whole clip and and cut it each time. Right. The other way would be like, yeah, you bring the whole the whole shot down into the timeline and then you cut you um, tr uh, splice. What's the word? You mm -hmm. you um you yeah. cut it in half and then you cut. And then you delete that middle part. It's mm -hmm. bad. As opposed to this, you're just in out, in out, in out. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Um, 
Split is the word okay, I was looking so, for. Okay, so so precut so precut is a new feature. That's here a new feature. In Seventeen. Okay, so what else that, we got? More exciting stuff here is we have. Um, Okay, do you remember Prisma, the app that made used AI to to make your photos look like a Picasso or yeah, a Van Gogh? Yeah, it was Go. a fan. It was a filter fan. Well, now we have that in here, and it's kind of fun actually. Um, let me get a different clip, like an outdoor scene like this, um, to apply that. Unfortunately, you have to go into this plugins area, and now you have AI style plugin. Everybody's got to have AI nowadays. Yeah, you yeah. have to have AI. So let's add a clip here from the media room. And what is that? That's the band thing. Let's do this because this looks fun when we apply styles to it. Uh -huh. Are you you're on the screen here, Pete? Yes. Okay. So here are the AI styles, and which one would you like to try? Starry Night. This is the Van Gogh set. Yeah, I think Starry Night would go really well with that All right, blue let's sky. See. It takes a little while to render. Uh, if it, there we go. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. So this is rendering locally. Like Prisma, a lot of the those AI filter things would send it up to their powerful servers and then send it back to you. This mm -hmm. is locally rendering. And now let's play filter. through the clip with the filter on it. Okay. Let's see. It's a short. Whoops. <laughs> it did not render. I guess we have to. Um, maybe, Do you have to export it first? That sounds possible. Did I? Did I definitely apply it? Produce a new video to export. Okay, transform video. There so yeah, that was just sort of a preview. But this could take a while, so we might not want to. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So we'll see how long how long that takes. Now, actually, that segues to a good uh, question, which is render speed. Yeah. How does this compare on render speed to other similar video packages? All right, Power Director has always been one of the fastest, and it's I think once again it's on top. I, I'm testing um, for a while. Pinnacle actually had the top. Speed. Um, it was at the pinnacle. Yeah, it was at the pinnacle. But Power Director on my test, I do I do a sequence of you know five clips with difficult um, transitions between them. Mm -hmm. It's only like a five minute thing, mm -hmm. um, and I just render them out to one standard uh, HD format. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> this is going to take a long time. This is going to wow. That takes an, an hour. hour. <laughs> How long is this clip? <laughs> this clip is probably just. Le 30 seconds, maybe. So to transform a 30 second yeah. clip with now, this intense filter on it, that takes an now, hour to actually. Keep in mind, I'm only on a Core i5 here. For okay. You really should have a stronger uh, machine if you're going to do video editing, especially like this kind of thing. Let's take some questions. What's the learning curve for a newbie with Cyberlink? <sighs> there is a learning curve. Um, they do have things like. Uh, See up here it says welcome view tutorial. There's a lot of help. There, there's really good help in this program. So if you have a problem, you know, some procedure you want to learn how to do, there's something that can show you how to do it. I mean, for, for basic, like, you know, adding, adding um, videos to this panel, you drag them down into the timeline and boom. They're there. Is there a big uh, power? Is there a big power director community? There actually is. Um, yeah, there there have. It's called Director Zone online, and mm -hmm. they contribute effect, filters and sequences and templates and things. There are a lot of templates where you mm -hmm. can put your movies in. And, and as you saw when we started, you don't have to go into the full power editor. You can just go into um, you know the easy automatic type mm -hmm. editor. Um, but I think your results aren't always as good. So you've got the pre-cut, you've got the uh, AI, the very slow AI filters, mm -hmm. uh, slow but powerful. Uh, what else do we have in 17 um, here? One other thing that's, that's more on the pro um, end of things is cluts, or LUTs, or cluts, L-U-T's. They're called, they're lookup tables, and they're used in photography, they're used in pro video um, shoot, you know, movies and all that to get, like, like Batman or, you know, those movies have like that dark blue color. When you see a movie, there's like a color language in it. And those are uh, created by LUTs. Okay. Lookup so tables. So lookup tables, all it is is it's like it's taking the pixel information and tr and look seeing that and transferring it to something else. So um, let's get a better clip in here. Mm -hmm. So example, things like day for night. So let's... Mm -hmm. Okay, so I go here. Um, let's bring this down in here, even though it's probably already there. Um, so fix and enhance. It's, it's a little tricky to get. Enhance. To this. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So um, color presets and cluts. 
A lot, most people call them LUTs, but Cyberlink calls them CLUTs, which is kind of funny. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've um, imported these, but mm -hmm. I can, let me just show you how. I, it's interesting, the file, um, the file type is dot cube <laughs> for some reason. Okay. So anyway, you can see, um, do any of these appeal? Classic yeah, black and do, white. Do you, have, do, you have, uh, do you know what I mean uh, if I say the Mexico filter? Oh, you mean like Instagram? No, like, yeah, like it, like it makes everything look uh, look kind of bleached out and yellow. Hmm. I've got well, I've got dingy black. Like all, I'm, like all movies wait, there, do there when the scene yellow. is set in Mexico Here's for some yellow. reason. Let's see. Yeah. Maybe yellow will yeah. do it. I bet so, yellow will do it. So this is just a file. You can download these LUTs online. They're free LUTs to give your movies uh -huh. effects and download them. Install them here. It should appear here. And then there's yellow. There's so now yellow. let's okay. apply it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah it looks a little like more Mexico. Thing. And, I mean, um, movie-wise, the thing is when you, it's, it always shocks me when I actually go to Mexico and there's a normal set of colors in the country. <laughs> like, that's right. Yeah. It's a real blue sky. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and notice this one, um, it plays even, so you don't have to wait for rendering. Terrific. Let's take some questions. How powerful of a computer would you recommend for someone to have? Do they need like a dedicated graphics card? You should have a dedicated graphics card. It, it, you know, it, a lot of it depends on how long the movie is. If you're going to do uh, a 20 minute, half hour project, you're going to want a good amount of, of RAM, mm -hmm. um, at least 16, probably 32. Um, you probably want a Core i7 um, processor. And um, yeah, a, a fairly recent graphics card oh, man. would be good. Yeah, so, so are these, these system requirements are really up yeah, there. I mean, you can do it if you want to wait, as mm -hmm. we saw on mm -hmm. the five here. <laughs> yeah. Let's take another question. Could you use this for photo editing? Um, nah, not really. You wouldn't. You wouldn't really do that. You wouldn't export a still. No, I mean yeah. a lot of these. Uh, you can import stills and change them, but then they become videos. There's a companion photo editor that you you can get mm -hmm. a suite of the Cyberlin products. It's called um, Photo Director, which is actually a, kind of a Lightroom mm -hmm. um, thing. Um, it's a pretty nice photo editor, actually. Okay. Any more questions out there? So uh, okay, so how does this compare to? You are of course constantly reviewing all the different video editing software. How does this compare to the other major packages out there? Um, well, we have Corel Video Studio, and um, that's a pretty nice one. Um, I feel like PowerDirector is really always on the on the on the front cusp of the technology. For example, they were the first one to do 360 mm -hmm. degree video editing, and mm -hmm. they even have mo they even have motion tracking in 360. Can you imagine? Like you have 360 degrees, you have something moving, and you can track its motion in any. Access to um, also to keep it in the center so that the viewer doesn't have to keep going like right, this. Right, right. And they can um, they can stabilize 360. They were the first ones out mm -hmm. with that. So they're th usually if there's a new format and you're you're a real enthusiast about this stuff and you always want to get out the new gear, mm -hmm. PowerDirector will will probably support you before the others do. It's okay. fast. It's s s loaded with the features here. So. Mm -hmm. um, it is my editor's choice, and um, it's an editor's choice in which subcategory? In the enthusiast level, it's not. Okay. It's not the beginners. It's not the pro editors. Okay. The pros are going to want Premiere Pro from mm -hmm. Adobe or Final Cut Pro. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So, uh, CyberLink PowerDirector 17 are. Oh, did, did we the price? Oh, the price. The price of this software varies so much. Um, so you can see. I don't know if you can see on the on our. Is it hundred bucks? Yeah. Well, you can get it for ninety nine ninety nine. It's the list price is one twenty nine ninety nine, but you can usually find it discounted, as as you can see on, our, on our go to pcmag.com. You can see it. At cheaper. least it's not one of those annoying Adobe style subscription things. Ah, but they do offer a subscription. No. <laughs> so, for example, the the impressionist, the Van Gogh filters and mm -hmm. stuff, they're going to come out with a new one or two of those every month for mm -hmm. subscribers. So, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. People raged against that so much, but yet a lot of the other companies are offering it too. So yeah, CyberLink PowerDirector 17, uh, probably a hundred bucks. Shop around. <laughs> 4.5 stars. Editor's choice in the enthusiast video editing category. Thank you all for watching. This has been one cool thing from PCMag.com. If you are live on Facebook, we will be live again at 10 a.m. Eastern tomorrow with another cool product. If you are on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Consider coming over to Facebook where we are live and we take your questions. Thanks again.